Thanks so much for joining us for the news at 11. I'm Vanessa Rufus. And I'm Colin Mayfields. We start here tonight. Local leaders say they are working to enhance public safety and then reduce the number of scenes that we see like this. The focus specifically on teenage violence. Yes, yeah, city leaders and community organizations say they are looking to understand the factors leading to teen violence, along with what is stopping kids from getting the help they need. WCNC Charlotte's Tanisha Woodard shares how they're seeking solutions to create a safer environment for the youth. I lost my nephew to gun violence a couple of years ago, so it hits particularly close to home. So when I hear it, I immediately want to do something about it. What can I do from where I sit to change an outcome for someone else? Gun violence. No matter where you are, its impact weighs heavy on every community. Every family. Hey, everybody, you've got your eyes on it. What can you do? Council member Victoria Watlington is calling community leaders to use an all hands on deck approach, ensuring the youth also have a seat at the table. It shouldn't happen in your community. You should be able to feel safe in your community, in your school. Some of the problems CMPD addressed was the growing number of incidents, starting behind keyboards on social media, ending with guns in our streets. Others address concerns that many kids are aging out of programs available, eventually finding themselves in conflict. A lot of peer pressure, a lot of um, being want to be like our friends, want, want to get the quickest bag, and sometimes that gets to the mind. It took a long time for me to get out that mentality of having to fight every day. Some solutions community members are working to implement focuses not only on treating the conflict, but also working to treat the person. It lets every youth know that someone care. Thompson says he's also working to be a part of the solution with hopes of setting a positive example for his peers. Right now I'm using my platform to teach other young men, other, other young black men to use their voice instead of their hands. Tradisha Woodard, WCNC Charlotte. And don't forget, WCNC Charlotte wants to highlight the actions being taken to solve local problems. We don't know about all of the steps being taken in the community, so please share your knowledge with us. You can send in a tip to newstips at WCNC.com.